So we started a series of Wix navigation of how we can use the React Native Wix navigation. So we are going to continue. This is the second part of this video. So guys, before you continue watching, make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button. So let's hop in. First off is to open up my commander and I'm in my project directory. If you watch the previous video, you can see how we came about this uh, project itself. And these are the list of the files inside the project directory. So right now I'm going to just run React Native run android so just give this a couple of seconds so it's not going to take much time because uh in the last video we did set it up everything got bundled and uh, in this one we are just moving direct so we are going to talk about a lot of things in using Wix navigation of how you can style your uh, navbar uh, this is an example of what uh, we are going to be doing uh on my screen on the right you can see that when i click on this it's going to take me to push uh, sorry setting screen and uh the setting screen is styled with something uh else not like the normal white we have so we're just going to give this a couple of seconds to finish up then we can continue So they, this was the one we created yesterday and uh, there's nothing there, you, there's nothing much there. And uh, let's just wait for this to finish before we can get rid of all these uh, codes that make up this markup design here. So this is just a default React boilerplate. So we are almost done. So right now our app is done installing. The next thing I'm going to do now is to minimize this. And you can see that everything we have here is coming from our app component. So everything we have on this boilerplate, on the default React Native boilerplate is coming from uh, this component, which we don't really want. So I'm going to clear everything inside here so that we can start afresh and do the things that we want to do it. So the first thing is to bring in the navigation and we are going to require uh, get that from uh, React Native Navigation. So I'm going to kind of be using the auto suggest in order to make things uh, pretty fast because I don't intend to waste time on each single video so that you guys can really grab the knowledge faster. But don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe uh, on the video, sorry, on the channel. So the next thing is to bring in my React, which I'm going to require my React. The next thing is also to bring in some couple rendering templates. Like the, uh, we also need a style sheet in order to style things. And we are going to get that from, actually you can use this in an EXIS method, but uh, let's just stick to the way I found it on, uh, on the documentation website. So we can just uh, do this React Native. So the first thing we can do here, we can create a very small component called the home screen. We can give it the props of, then we can, uh, the props actually has nothing. Maybe let's say we want to grab a props. I think it's usually a conventional to leave. So something like something that, that can grab your cro uh, props. So we can use the view then Inside the view, we can give it a style of, uh, let's say, styles.home. And inside that, we can give it a text. Let me make this more. And here, we can just say home screen. Now, whenever we create a component and we want to make use of it on uh, React Native Wix navigation, it's not like Flux. Uh, actually, it's been kind of like two to three months time I really program on React Native. So I don't really, I don't really recall the things in Flux, but whenever you want to do things on React Native navigation itself, you need to register the components with the navigation uh, event, sorry, with the navigation register, register components. You can give it a name. Uh, we can you can give any name you wish to but let's just stick to home for now because we want to make use of the home screen and it's going to accept the callback then that will be your components 
Then for us to make use of this uh, home component, uh, we need to bring in something called register app launch. It's going to help us register uh, our app to launch and also to uh, it's going to have some parameters for us to set up, set up the root component that it will render by default whenever the app opens. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to type in navigation.events. Then you can bring in the register app launched. I'm just going to hit enter because it's quite pretty long. And uh, inside that is going to accept and assign and call back. And then we can bring down the navigation once more and then set the root. This is the default uh, template to render or the default component to render. Then it's going to also accept a root object. Then in the root, you can specify uh, stacks. Let's say in home, you want to have home slash this, home slash this, or you want to have something in a stack so that when you are in the home component, you can easily go over to that stack then you can just come here and say stack. Then in your stack, you can have children are going to be all types of components you have. So it's going to be an object and uh, the name of your component, uh, we need the home. So that's it for setting up the, uh, the root. Then the next thing is, uh, let me kind of check some things. So, if you check from our app here, I don't want this to have this uh, this white top bar anymore. I want to change it totally. So the way I can change that, let me just comment this, styling the top bar. It's very simple. I'm just going to say home screen. Uh, you style that from, uh, let's say, your, you take the name of your the name of the component you just imported or you created, then it's going to have a parameter called options. Then in the options, it's going to accept an object. Then you can specify the top bar. Then it's also an object that is going to accept the title, which is an object of, let's say the text is going to be home, or let's just use home page. And uh, the color, let's give it a color of white, the text color of white. Then I, I really want to change the color to what I showed you when the video was beginning. Uh, so the color is going to be a background color of ash 4D089. So the color is kind of pretty cool. Then here you can also specify uh, some kind of styles. If you check when we are typing this down here, we we specify the style prop for our view component. Sorry, our view. Yeah, we can actually say it's a component or anything. I think it's a component. So you can actually specify a style for our view components. Then down here, we can bring in styles. Then make use of the style sheet we import, imported then we can create a style. Then uh, let's say uh, the roots, give it a name, any name you want to give it, just make sure you have res reference to the name over here. So I use home. So I'm just going to use home here. And now it's going to have a flex of one. Now we have to align the items to center. So justify content to also center. And lastly, we have to give it a background color of uh, let's say ash one to three. I don't think whether that will work, but let's just give it a try. So once this is done, you just have to come over to your console once more, React Native run Android. So let's just give it a couple of seconds to see the outcome of what we've done so far. So we have our app running now. So why we encounter an error right now is because we didn't export the component. So you can come here and say export default up. So let's do that again. Just hit your save and uh, your app. Just refresh. So in case you have the error still persisting, you can uh, definitely uh, restart your application. So we say it says can't find variable app. Just come over to the to the index. 
Uh, we did export defaults up. So I don't know why we are having an error. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry guys, it's not called up. So I don't want to delay a lot of things. Uh, simply let's just uh, copy everything we did here and go over to the index. Now let's get rid of everything here and paste that. So pretty much the same thing we did. And I think it should render without a problem right now. So let's kind of refresh. So you can see our app is running effectively now. So we don't have any problem again. So it has not been registered, which is very, 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 very uh, simple. So guys, in case you encounter any error, just close your Metro bundler, then uh, run the app once more. I don't think we had any problem initially. So encountering the problem was kind of uh, something I didn't really know why, but everything seems to work pretty fine without uh, touching the codes. And now uh, we can still as well move it back to the apps, but let, for simplicity sake, let's just leave it in the index or JS file. Then as we move on, we can see how we can all as well import components. So this is it for the second part of this video. So guys, don't forget to hit the like button and as well as the subscribe button.